Okay, um, so you can see I got the um, gears back on, but I'm actually not going to be working on the timing belt today. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and trying to figure out and you know, make sure I do it correctly and everything. Um, one thing I did notice, or I did notice, I did watch a video off of YouTube um, from a guy who uh, works for Gates, uh, the guys who really, you know, make special tools, SSTs. And one thing he did mention was that you got to make sure that your cam gears are in pristine condition. Um, and if you can rec remember the removal of these, um, I had to. It was, I had a, a tough time, let's just say, removing this gear. Um, I just want to pull it off real quick. Um, I actually took something and like had to jam it in there to try to get this one off and in that process let's see here you know I scratched that up real good um, well he made a the, the guy in the video made a good good point of these gears are gonna be touching your timing belt you know however many thousands of times hundreds of thousands of times maybe even a million times per revolution not not per row, but you know how you know how many times it's gonna be touching it in its life, and if these gears aren't pristine, they will eventually cut into the timing belt. Um, it's almost like a scare tactic to to make sure that you you know buy Gates timing belt or whatever. But in actuality, there's a lot of fact in that, making sure that your timing belt, since these are gonna be spinning in you know thousands of RPMs, you know. You gotta make sure that you have these as pristine as possible. So I actually ordered um, a new one, not a new one, a new used one that hopefully is not a less, definitely less gummed up. I got it from eBay. Um, so I'm not gonna be working on the time belt. What I am actually gonna be working on today is the power steering pump um, and also getting the bracket for the other side of the um, alternator and stuff up together. I think that's gonna be important and it does not inf interfere with the or should not inf interfere with the installation of the timing belt later on so I, I think I'm gonna do that I also might work on the fuel injection maybe getting that set but the timing belt I know that it's it's definitely something that I want to get done but I think that with the fact that this gear is all jacked up um, I'm gonna hold off on it until I get that new one it's the the guy who I'm ordering it from is in Colorado but I don't know how he probably picked the cheapest shipping possible, so I might get it here hopefully in the next week, and uh, then I can get it bolted on and then get the timing belt on. But I, I have a lot of other stuff I'll do, and um, I think I'll just go ahead and work on that instead today. Okay, thanks.